Hi, let's solve one previous question of algorithm analysis. This question was asked in gate CH 2013 question number 31. Consider the following function. One function is given int unknown int n int i j k k equals to 0. These are three variable. For i equals to n divide 2, i less than equals to n i plus plus. For j equals to 2, j less than equals to n, j equals to j multiplication 2 and k equals to k plus n divide 2, return k. The return value of the function is and 4 options are given. Just understand the question, it's not asking about the time complexity, it is asking about the return value of function, means what will be last k value, it is not asking time complexity. Let's first analyze the out of for loop. Initially, i value is n divided 2. Next time, it will be n divided 2 plus 1 as every time it is incremented by 1. Next time, it will be n divided 2 plus 2 like this. It will continue. And finally, it will reach to n. So, how many time it is changing? It is changing n divide 2 time initially it is n by 2 and every time it is adding 1 and finally we are reaching to n so it will change n divide 2 time the outer for loop run n divide 2 time let's check how many time inner loop run so initially j value will be 2 next time it will be 4 next time it will be 8 like this it will reach to n so how many times j value is changing it's changing log n time so outer for loop will run n divide 2 time while inner for loop will run log n times. And every time k value will be added with n divide 2. So initial k value will be 0. Next time it will be n divide 2, 0 plus n divide 2. Next time it will be 2 n divide 2. So n divide 2 plus n divide 2. Next time it will be 3 n divide 2. Next time it will be 4 n divide 2. Like this it will continue. And it is asking what will be final k value. So how many times this n by 2 will be added? It will be added n by 2 multiplication log n time. So n divide 2 multiplication n divide 2 multiplication log n it will be n square by 4 log n. So in asymptotical, we can say theta of n square log n. It is present in option B. So now just check what will be time complexity of this. First follow from n divide 2 times. Second follow from log n time. So n divide 2 multiplication log n. Running time will be n divide 2 log n or we can say theta of n log n file return value of k is theta of n square log n both are different it's not asking running time it is asking the return value of the function so return value of the function will be theta of n square log n now in which option it is present it's present in option b so answer will be option b if you didn't understand from this let me analyze in a table format that you can understand there are three variable i j k Initially, i value will be n divided 2. For i value n divided 2, j value will change. j value initially will be 2, next it will be 4, next it will be 8 up to n. So, it will change log n time. For i equals to n by 2, second for loop or j value will change log n time. And what will be k value? Initially, k value is 0. Next time, it will be n divided 2. Next time, it will be 2 n divide 2. So how many time will add this n divide 2 will add log n time. Finally it will be log n multiplication n divide 2. So for i equals to n divide 2 j value will change log n time and final k value will be n divide 2 log n. Next time i value will increase n divide 2 plus 1. Again j value will change log n time j value will start from 2, 4, then 8 up to n, it will run log n time and k value finally will be n log n. Previously k value was n divide to log n. Now for i value n divide to plus 1, again it will add with n divide to log n. So n divide to log n plus n divide to log n, it will be n log n. Next time i value will change n divide to plus 2 j value again change log n time and k value will be 3 n divide to log n. 
like this it will continue then finally i value will be n and j value will again change log n time and k value will be how many time we are changing i we are changing i value n divided 2 time so k value will be n divided 2 due to i then n divided to log n n divided to due to this addition and log n due to the inner follow so total it will be n divided to multiplication n divided to multiplication log n n divided to multiplication n divided to it will be n square by 4 log n we can say asymptotically it is theta of n square log n if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you